Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode. We are going to be pushing back in and carrying on with our quests, having a very quick look at our logbook. We're working on Birdie on Fire, uh, which means we need to defeat Burrowers. I think that's in the Silent Promenade. We are also working on Julius and Romeo, uh, so we need Rosie Thorn um, as a vestige. And we need to defeat a Shadow Quill as the Weaver, so it makes sense for us to stay as the Weaver at the moment. And in terms of the guide for fishing for friendship, oh my word, there are so many things here. So we're going to do what we can, and um, we'll just we'll just take it from there. Uh, in terms of our trinkets, we are going to get a brand spanking new one. We've done the chart of stars. I don't think we've done the past key of the future, but I'd like to unlock something new. Oh, interesting. Specific things will show up in binding drafts for some of them. So you can kind of guarantee you're going to get a specific spell. Okay, before we do that then, let's have a very quick look and and see the kind of thing that there is. Because there was, yeah, Runner's the Obelisk with Shield Wall, Essence of Quillian and the Stone Seal Boulder. Runner's the Weaver with Free's Mistake and the Loom's Lost Art Sense. So that doesn't require a specific binding. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, let's um, let's go for the emblem of enterprise. When an enemy dies, chance to gain some quillings. When a garden dies, gain a glyph. It's one that we haven't done before. We'll, uh, we'll see how it feels. Uh, but we are obviously going to keep the Weaver. Now, the question is, where is it going to send us? And how different is this run going to be to the previous one? I'm going to try and do it all in one go, so we're probably going to go a bit faster. Uh, You've got nothing to say. So, Silent Promenade, Radiant Market, Gardener's Edge. We do need to go back to the Radiant Market. Um, let's go there. Probably need to go back to the Silent Promenade for the Burrowers. But this is this is fine. We've got ourselves a potion. It's not a great potion. Hmm, what do we want? On your first turn, gain two will? Yeah. Future Willet is fine. And over here... Widen Stitch is pretty cool. Critical Constrict. Critical Threads. All bindings gain 2 crit chance and 15 crit damage to each thread attached to you. Critical Threads. Let's let's lean into crit this time. 2 Tarnished Vaults. Let's go! Alright, seeing as everything is kind of staying together... Let's hit you three. Let's come up a bit, hit you three. We can get a decent stitch on all of them. Constrict. Cleared it in one turn. The, the crit chance is going to be interesting. Uh, cultivate smoke. We haven't done smoke bomb yet. Let's try smoke bomb. 50 damage in a large area and inflicts dazed. Sure. Most spyglass gives crit chance. I like that. Or we could just really push our physical damage already with training weights. But I think crit chance and crit damage is, is really where the fun's going to be. 
So we'll get Must Spyglass and... We could... We could start burning as well. More future Willa. Four will on the first turn would allow us to do quite a lot. Although this will give us extra movement, which is going to be good. And it's leaning into the ambusher stuff. So we'll do that. Okay, Sea Breach, mm, Binding Empowerment, I think. Let's try and make our bindings better. Oh, and we've got just enough to buy the Rare Augment as well. So over this side, Lengthy Threads is good. And over this side... Inflict Shatter, ooh. Shattering Smoke Bomb could be very fun. I think Potent Stitch, though. We might re-roll that. Over here, though, uh, Lengthy Threads, though, is is the smart choice. Let's re-roll and see what we get. Thicken Threads, make them do more damage. Tarnish Vault and come on Augment. Yeah, let's uh, keep the Augments. So the, the incentive with our threading is to thread it up and then not really do it again until we have to. Mm, we're going to need to hit everyone. That's a pretty decent area for the bomb. Like, we can hit everything with it. Let's hit you. If I come over this way, we've got enough movement that I can hit all of these guys. Then hit you. Then we'll do the Constrict. Stitch you. Hit you again. Do another Constrict. And we'll get him killed this turn. Big Stitch would work wonders on him. There we go. Get you finished off. Constrict on those. We can still do a little bit more. Constrict on you to finish you off. Yeah, I pretty happy with how this is going to come together. I do miss my double damage from the last run. Nice big smoke bomb. And uh, we may as well constrict to finish that one off because wow. Okay, anything on crit. Inventor and Bastion, Expert Binder, mm. These are fine, but they're not amazing. Let's re-roll them. More ambusher things. If we get decayed binding, given the amount of extra will we have on our first turn, that's going to be pretty good. Okay, and drafting a new binding... Let's get Blink, just in case we need to get out of, uh, out of dodge. 
Ooh, and distant blink. Like, if it's... If we're running, we're running. Yeah, that's going to be good. Ooh. I don't think we need to go to the Vestigial Shrine. Hmm. That is the question. Okay, let's... Let's double check our quests. So, nothing about the Radiant Market there. Nothing specifically about the Radiant Market there. Uh, catch a fish at the Radiant Market. Eat a fish at the Radiant Market. Into the Silent Promenade and Radiant Market in the same run. Nothing about the Shrine though. Need to go to the gardener's edge. No. Okay. Well, for now, let's um, let's go to the vestigial shrine and we'll destroy the klaxon and get our ambusher things triggering on the first two turns. There we go. That's that's pretty powerful. And extra movement every turn as well. For good measure. Uh, ooh, Tarnish Vault and Superior Vault. That's where we're going to get our most value. So, hypothetically, Blink can go, ev Blink can go everywhere. Blink is awesome. Like, if you need to get away, that is how you get away. Okay, so we can hit three of them with a the smoke bomb. Get you both threaded up. Get you both threaded up. Right, that's decayed binding. Okay. We can... Ooh. We can stitch kill those two. That makes a lot of sense. And we still got the blink discount, actually. So we could use blink right at the end of the turn to move anywhere we wanted. Let's constrict them. Grab this. Constrict them again. One more gone. He's still alive, but he's going to do, like, nothing. It's a shame we can't make Blink do damage. I mean, maybe we can, actually. Okay, let's just thread them. We'll keep it simple. We'll get a Constrict. Mm, it's going to be better if I kill you and then do a constrict because then it'll actually kill those two. And we'll just finish him off. Wait for his friends to appear. We can probably hit them with a smoke bomb. is going to do nothing until we get some threads on. So, threads up here. Threads down here. There's a constrict. Another constrict for good measure. We can get them finished very easily. It's not stand on ceremony. We need to be moving with a swiftness. Speaking of moving with a swiftness. Hmm. 
with the track sounds interesting tiny heartstone also very cool and the steel brella would give us flat shielding i do like the idea of being incredibly mobile on this front let's get with the tracks maybe we'll burn it later Oh, another ambusher. Uh, I do like the idea of pushing the ambusher stuff so that it triggers on future ones. In fact, if we take future Willa now, we'll get four will on the first and second turns. That's got some huge economy for us. Okay. We do have enough for lots of binding augments, so let's go this way. Okay, and... Inflict vulnerable? Yeah, I think vulnerable is going to be pretty good. Okay. First augment. Quicken smoke bomb? Mm, I prefer critical construct, I think. Let's see what the rare one is. I mean, Shattering Smoke Bomb does seem like a really good option. Except we're doing mostly magic damage. That's the only downside to it. Let's re-roll these. Hexing Smoke Bomb? I like that. And then... Quick and Smoke Bomb is pretty good on top of that. Though I think I would probably go for Critical Constrict so that we can really start pushing that high crit that we're trying to go for. Okay, we're poor. We can't do anything here. So let's just push clean on through. There's a fish. Gotta eat the fish. That's another part of the quest done. Hi everyone! Get a nice smoke bomb in on these. Bind you. Bind you. Bind you. We do a big stitch there. It doesn't look like it's actually going to do much damage to him. Oh, because he's got all of his friends around him. Okay. Well, if we constrict them. Mm. I would love it if they were a little bit closer to each other. Right, one dead. I think this is how we do it. We just um, focus them down. Big hit. There we go. Where's your soul shield now, eh? Ooh, this is going to hurt. Just playing 122 damage or constrict. I mean, we're definitely going to teleport as far away as we can. But we might be able to actually push him into phase shift. <laughs> oh my god. Two future willers is just so busted. It busted in a really good way. Okay, more soul shields, so we need to get them gone. Okay. 
Okay, if I stitch you, it gets you a teeny bit closer. Constrict is going to do some damage, but not enough for what I would like. So let's do that, and let's get as far away as possible. Because the whole area is getting hit, I think this is as good as we can do. One damage isn't too bad, though. Soul Shackle. All incoming damage is increased by 10% per stack. Mm. Got the potential to be pretty nasty. Okay, I think we kill you straight off. You two done like that. If we do constrict that 75 damage to you and some to the other one, but that's not amazing. Let's get closer. Have this because we can always teleport away. We'll just blink over here. Yeah. Okay. Got in getting close to do some more stuff. Can get a pretty good stitch on you, actually. So that means it's just the big tamale. Constrict him. Grab that, constrict him again. Oh, we can hit you from here. Right, now we need to start getting closer. That's a big constrict. There we go. Good progress. Okay, we do need to heal one hit point. It is a shame, but it is what it is. Uh, do we want to upgrade Blink? Teleport far distance away on turn start. On defeating an enemy, you can flash again for free. Okay. Leave behind a trail of energy dealing 75 damage. Mm, blast feels more like my, my way of working. Wise for smoke bomb, target all enemies. Ooh, given we're doing hex, I like that. Okay, let's move on. Hello there. You look like you could use a towel. Rolling around with Argleth will sure leave you dripping a while. You should know. That happened once. The tentacles looked like they wanted a hug and they were just so soft looking. Can you really blame a quill for wanting a little physical affection every once in a while? Mm, well, no, I suppose I can't. And Bin, well, if I've ever been cold with you, I... Apology accepted. Okay, uh, I did say we could potentially burn... Withered Tracks. So that means we've still got space for three. I could also burn the Moss Spyglass, but I do like it for boss fights. Uh, neither of these are the Silent Promenade. So, Proving Grounds or Ventward, let's have a look and see if we have any specific quests for either of them. Uh, maybe the Proving Grounds, I think, for the Burrower. I don't remember if it's in there or the Silent Promenade. Inflicting hex on treasure pots. We are doing hex now, so that could in theory happen. Mm. 
Godless Edge, just defeating villains. Mythos, these ones have been done. Ooh, the Rhinferno. Yeah, let's go to the Proving Grounds. I don't remember if the Rhinferno is at the Proving Grounds. It might be. It might also be on the Silent Promenade. You're unable to remove the spear, of course. Uh, right, uh, Superior Vault, Heroic Vault. Yes. Let's see if we can get more ambush things. Hi everyone, right. Smoke bomb on everyone because that's good fun. And yeah, we can we can teleport through stuff. That that's got a potential awesome huge potential for awesome. Okay, if I back up a little, let's do it the other way, actually. So go through you, then we'll get a Constrict on. We can get another Constrict on, and I've still got four to Plink, 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 Plink! Effective. I would say let's do the same again, but we don't have a smoke bomb this time. So we'll just have to make do. Plink, plink. Yeah, let's hit with the constrict. We can hit with the Constrict again. And then if I come down here... He is targeting us directly, but we can teleport away once we're done. If I hit him, he might actually look at us, so... Let's just go this way. Okay, well, all the way through, and on you, let's get a stitch right in the middle, that pulls them together a bit more, constrict, hit you two, grab this, another constrict, and we'll just teleport through that guy to finish it off. Ooh, free as mistake. So that's the all about smiting thing. What was the run that we needed with free as mistake? Free as mistake and Loom of the Lost Artisan. So we could we could get it because we are at least the right person. Don't know how we would get the Loom of the Lost Artisan, though. Oh, Stone Pitch Pipe is a very good thing. Cheese Cards is very cool as well. That would give us more crit chance, which works quite nicely with what we were trying to do before. Okay. Vestigial Shrine would probably be kind of useful. We could uh, maybe get rid of one of the future Willers in order to make everything last one more turn. Or we could get rid of the Mosts. Nah. Uh, Vestigial Shrine. It's always a tough call when when you're dealing with the ambush of stuff. 
we want the double damage. Like, we need the double damage. So it's going to have to be a future willer. So that takes us up to six Ambusher, which is nice. Um, but it's not It's not nine. It's not nine. It's got a long way to go. Uh, let's get the two augments, I think. Get ourselves another fish. A uh, barrier potion. Hmm... Let's swap it over for the Bloodthirst Blend, because I think that's... It's got more practical application for us. Okay, we're going to inflict Hex on... On a treasure pot. We need to do it more times, of course, but that's a good start. Okay, we'll thread you two up. Thread you three up. Let's get a constrict. If I get a stitch there, that'll hit those two. Very nice. Wallop. 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 So that's damaging treasure pots gain quillings. Wallop. And you know what? We can teleport through to just be done with him. Okay, we've already got two threads. We need more. So you are all threaded now. Let's get a big constrict. We'll get a stitch up here. Let's get another constrict for the damage. Just keep hitting as much as we can. We might be able to kill this one by teleporting through him. Yes, we can. And then we can just move out of the way of the armor rhino. Smoke bomb on everyone. You get a bomb, you get a bomb. Everyone gets a bomb. Get a stitch here. It's a good solid amount. Okay, keep the constrict going. And that means you are our final focus. So we'll just hit you, hit you, teleport into you a little bit, and then just move out of your area of effect. Okay. Ascending threads. So we've done tether before. Weave. Deal 60 damage in an area at distance. Inflict threaded. Control weaving grants just flat. 30 only damage. Hmm. Let's try weave. We haven't haven't tried it before. Ooh. And that's all the ascensions for thread, which is unlocked the gilded leaf spool. Very nice cosmetic. And for these, I think we'll re-roll them. Potent smoke bomb, do more damage. It's not bad, cool. Now I'd quite like something awesome from these. Ooh. 
after teleporting and flick marked on the nearest enemy. That's got that's got early early in the turn potential. Let's carry on re-rolling. Potent Stitch makes it very powerful. Reducing Constrict use uh, cooldown to zero for the first two uses each turn means we could really push into it though. Let's go with uh, Seamless Constrict. Okay, Vestigial Shrine, we could burn more things. Binding Empowerment, we've got plenty to buy. So let's do that. Okay, for the cheapy cheapy, uh, ooh, reduce the base cooldown of Stitch. It's not bad. I think, let's see what the rare one is though. We were talking about getting potent Stitch before, but let's re-roll. And again. Full cost discount, I think, is fine for prepared construct. It's going to give us more efficiency overall. And uh, yeah, we'll go for the, uh, for the quick and stitch. Okay, we've still got two spaces for vestiges. Uh, let's go for the Uncommon Augment and the Glyph Globe. Because we've got lots of money. Okay. Starting off, what are you doing? Adding Barricade to all enemies. Right. I would like to say no, you're not. Oh, look at that. The weaving is very interesting. So that's giving us flat Omni damage now. So constrict on everyone. Then constrict again. And constrict again. And hell, we can, we can grab that and we can do it one more time. Get a really nice weave on U3, and if I come over here, we can teleport through all three of you. I love the variety in what you can do. The, the builds are really quite spectacular. Okay, there's our controlled weaving. There's our first constrict. Second constrict. Third constrict. Big constrict. We can't quite go through them all, but... We can do quite a lot. Oh, he's going to hurt us. I don't like this. We can't do anything. Well, I mean, we could drink a barrier potion, but that seems seems a bit over the top for four damage. There's our controlled weaving. Smoke bomb. Constrict! Constrict! More constriction! I I feel like it's it's a pretty good setup. I have no idea what that is. Oh that's a glyph globe, isn't it? Oh my god, it gave us so many. Uh inflict threading before dealing damage. Mm, we're not really utilizing this much. Quick and Blink is fine, reducing the, uh, the cooldown. 
Binding Empowerments at this point aren't really going to do much for us. Let's, uh, let's go to the Sea Breach. Okay, a large gangly being is tapping away at what appears to be a small glowing pyramid shaped object. It pauses a brief moment, then suddenly gives the pyramid a solid thwack, morphing it into a beautiful crown of light. You notice there are a couple more pyramids strewn around within arm's reach. Ooh. Okay. So. Offer glyphs for shaping. Choose a common or uncommon vestige and gain three copies of it. That's got potential. Especially for for the ambusher stuff. Offer many glyphs for shaping. Choose any vestige and gain a copy. Any one of these could be kind of cool. But I think I think getting another ambusher thing is going to be... Oh, it has to be one of the ones we have. Okay, well, let's get more will. And you know what? We're going to pick that up instead of uh, cheese cards. So we've now got Ambush and 9, and we've got 2, 4, 6, 8 will and double damage for every turn. Hey! So, looks like you and Steve have been getting thick as thieves, huh? I don't think just because you're getting all chummy means you can save a few quillins here and there. Mm-hmm. You know, Steve, that hunk of junk over there, calls himself the Store of Value, whatever that ingot means. Got him built a while back to get me more carbon time, but all he wants to do is dance around and break down instead of actually moving merch. <laughs> You hear that, Steve? You're no good. Okay, Steve, what have you got? So none of these are the thing we're looking for, but I am tempted to re-roll just in case we see it. I don't even remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I'm sure I will in just a moment. Okay, uh, Loom of the Lost Artisan, that was it. I assume it's going to be a unique level one. On your first turn, all binders gain critical charge. Uh, we want this. We want this whetstone. We're going to swap out the Monster Spyglass. Every turn, everything is critical and we have... Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Uh, I mean, it's not every use. Everything's going to be critical, but every turn everything will gain a critical charge. That's... That's got some amazingly strong potential. Uh, and... Widen Stitch? Sure. We can afford to restore some hit points. Just in case, let's do it. We've got the money. Have another fish. And up we go. Janus the malformed. You are not a rhino inferno. But of course you're not. Okay. Well, defeating these is gonna be tricky. Especially when they're not uh, super well positioned. Oh my god, we got so much willpower. Like, obscene amounts. Okay, so that's you hit. So, smoke bomb. Because we've now got the controlled weaving. Constrict. Constrict. Uh, 
Hell, constrict again. Get some of these all killed off if we can. So there's only two, two dummies left. And they're going to go... Before this turn is even up. Right. And then we get to do the same again next turn. Fourteen will is... It's a lot. Okay. Big constrict. Uh, the stitch isn't actually going to do that much to him, so we'll leave that off. But we'll keep doing constrict as much as we can. I'm honestly amazed at how... I wish we were getting Omni damage each time we did a strike with this. Okay, let's charge into him with this, and then we'll just move around to the other side. Smoke bomb. Constrict. 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 Well, he's phase shifting now, so the benefit of using skills more is just to get them, I don't know, we get critical charge at the start of every turn anyway, so it makes very little, uh, little difference in the grand scheme of things. Look at his health go down. I wish we were doing... Um, Burn stacks as well. Or bleeding stacks. He's definitely going to take a swipe with us, though. Uh, let's hit a barrier potion. Okay, let's make him vulnerable. Hit him with a smoke bomb. Then a constrict. I love that crit damage. Can we do enough to kill him this turn? Just... that's a lot of damage. Okay, what are we going to have in here? A fire quill! Oh. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll swap it out. We get to ascend smoke bomb into hidden mist. Deal 75 damage in the in the whole area. Inflict dazed, inflict marked. Okay. Inflicting marked is very interesting. In addition to the hex. Cluster Bomb sounds interesting, but it's not... We're not going to be defeating many mobs with it. So I think Hidden Mist is where we want to go. Uh, and then Extracting Blink. Let's get extra orbs.
Okay. Moving swiftly on. So, big hit on everything. So that's dazed and hex and marked. You are weaved together. You are weaved together. Let's get a constrict. Do a stitch for amusement factor. More constricting. We'll go through you. Because that gives us another orb. And then we've still got six. Willpower. To keep hammering these guys. Into nothing. Right. That defeat. The Shadow Quill. Was part of. Julius and Bromeo. So now we just need Rosie Thorn for Act Two. And that'll uh, that'll happen when we actually find that uh, that vestige, which won't be on this run, for certain. Okay, hit you both. Constrict. Grab this. Hit and missed. Constrict. Constrict. May as well grab that. Weave you two. Weave you two. There's a nice constrict. Pull you three together. Critical constrict. Ooh. Get you all killed. And then this guy can just take the brunt of our anger. All done. Okay, we've got Carver's Refuge coming up. So let's have a look at what's in here. Byron the Talking Book. He'll grant you random words of encouragement and a buff. Either a joke or only damage or will. Amazing. Um, I'd be tempted to re-roll those and see if we can get something else. And I'm looking at these to see if there's anything that's worth us burning, but not really. Like we could maybe burn one of the uh, um, the ambushers just to get something a bit better. Cross stitch. Okay, what have you got over here? Aspect of Ashalon. It is one of the mythos things. Acquiring four pieces of mythos would be really, really difficult. Okay, we're going to get rid of one of those. I think we'll we'll burn the verdant blossom. We're not going to get any benefit from it, but at least it's using it up. I think we'll take Byron. We'll take Byron. We could we could re-roll, but 120 Omni damage is 120 Omni damage. For when it crops up. Once again, we go in to face Nightcrawl of the Raven. Angry bird. 
Okay, you kind of need to go quick. So this will do a little bit of damage to us, so I really want to actually get this guy gone gone. To stop it doing damage to us. Right, then we'll get them hit. Get you marked. Get you marked. What did he do? He gave us plus two will, which is fine. We can blink through the friend. Grab that. Grab that. Get another constrict off. We've still got six. don't like the whole Cinderpox thing that's going to be happening, but... Not a great deal we can specifically do about that. We can aim to kill this guy at least. Uh, right, so Constrict is going to help by directly getting damage out onto them. will help. Nice big hits. So this turn we've got plus two will. <laughs> uh, looks like we're already in phase shift. So let's just get that Cinderpox. Uh, we'll reduce the cooldown of Hidden Mist a little bit. That's it for this turn. Okay, taking teeny bits of damage. Because he is being super annoying. Still got plus two will. So the book's not given us... Uh, that was Oh, it's on the first turn. So we're always going to have plus two wheel for this combat, which is fine. Uh, let's use the Cleansing Shroom. I'm not sure if we're actually doing any damage to uh, Cinder up in the sky. Okay, well, we don't want to take six damage, so let's move slightly out of the area. Keep that damage going. Grab these, let's get the mist on. Another critical that finishes you off. And then it's just about how much damage can we do to this guy in one turn. And then move out the area of course. But moving out of the air is easy. There's, there's plenty of places for us to run to. Okay, that's far enough. A bit more Cinderpox. Let's
let's hit you. Because then we can constrict you more f focused. I don't mind taking one more damage from that. Let's grab that. Get some hexing on. Teleport through this guy. That reduces our damage. And we're doing what we can while the bird is up above. only one damage we took, so it's not a big deal. There we go. Another guy gone. this and you know what let's uh, get out of the area so final stage nothing new has spawned in but there is cinderpox down here oh sorry we have cinderpox so we need to do some of that. Should have hit him with the precise first. That's my mistake. Teleport in a little bit. But that is out of range for this turn, unfortunately. Fresh cinder box, a bit more in our face. Okay, hit you. Let's try and get you gone. This is hurting us because we've found the bird. Okay, better. As long as we just keep hammering over and over again. Another one bites the dust. And we make quite a bit of progress, I'd say. 77 days to stacks added. A emblem of enterprise, and I assume that was the ambush set down in the bottom corner. Very interesting way that it works. Controlled explosives. Plenty more things for us to pick up on runs. And before we finish, let's just have a quick chat with the gatekeeper. Ah, oh, the Fountain of Creation on your turn. Gain one will for each binding on cooldown. Interesting. Well, you bested these villains again. To be surprised thrice would make me appear foolish. So instead, good work, needless. Think Bamp will be pleased. More permanent solutions should be enacted immediately, needless. I believe the work you've accomplished should give the Inkbound what they need to put their plan into motion. So we might be able to have a 
chat up here? No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Whatever and wherever it may be. Okay, well, we're going to finish up there. This has been a long episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Inkbound. See you soon.